Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to tonight's live stream. Uh, we're gonna be battle damaging a helmet. No, not this one because uh, this is my nice pretty one. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, real quick, I just wanna say that August's giveaway is live currently on Instagram. Due to certain rules uh, uh, with this giveaway, it's only gonna be on Instagram. So go over, check that out right now. Uh, you have a chance to win a brand new Creality Ender 3 3D printer, a roll of filament, and a $50 voucher to do3d.com so you guys can get some 3D files and be on your merry way to 3D printing if you don't have one. So I'm really excited about that. I've wanted to give one away for quite a while now. So uh, hopefully that goes good. Uh, just kind of finishing setting up here. Uh, I was running a little bit late, so I apologize for that. And I can move everything around. And it looks like the chat's already blowing up, so that's fun. That's a fun thing. Cool, cool, cool. And we're gonna maximize the chat so I can see what the heck you guys are saying. Looks like audio is good. We're getting better at this whole streaming thing, so that's fun. What do we got? We got, hey, uh, Mysterio, Kelly, G, got a lot of my MVPs in the place. Uh, da, 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 da. You may know about the giveaway, but everybody else might not know about the giveaway. So, yeah, the lighting. Ooh, the lighting looks great. We're, um, Let's see. What? A printer? Oh my god. Not to alarm you, but someone stole your Iron Man suit and replaced it with a cardboard cutout. <laughs> Shit. Call the priest. Yeah, uh, there's nothing on the stand right now except a uh, disembodied arm. You can kind of see just peeking out like right in there. And uh, it, he's under construction. So, um, yeah, I brought in the cardboard cutout for the time being. Because... Because I didn't have time to set everything else up, and everything's not going to get set up anyway, so I'm really careful. So tonight, we're going to be kind of working on this battle-damaged Iron Man helmet. I already... Oh, that looks so good on this camera. Wow. Oh, guess. There it is. So obviously, I've already gone and battle-damaged a lot of it. There is some touch-ups left to do. I want to do a little bit more to the back. Um, it doesn't look good enough. Look at that. That came out great. Look at that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we're going to be doing that. Um, I need to put lights. It's all falling apart. I need to actually attach the straps into the jaw. I need to put the lights in the eyes. So we're going to bend the LED eyes. I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Um, wiring up the whole system and making it a actual little bit more of a presentable object. So we will occasionally stop for some questions. I think I'll do it like I did that last build where um, it was like every... I don't know, like 15, 20 something minutes. I'd stop, take questions, and uh, yeah, because I wanna, I wanna turn this, I wanna do this. I do, I do something like this on my Discord where I'll do just a stream workshop. I'll stream a video. I'll stream just me working, not so much interacting, but talking and answering some questions. And I figured I could start doing them for YouTube because it's fun. Um, it's hard to record a lot of this stuff. It's hard to like, oh, I'm doing this one individual. Ah, sh shit. Let me get the camera. It, it's annoying. Um, so that's why a lot of the build review videos I do, it, it's more of like a recap. So now we can kind of, I can kind of show you guys what I'm doing. So yes, what do we got? 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 Hey brother, hope everything is all as well. You too, Edwin. It does look amazing. I'm here. It'll be quite interesting to see the priest attempting to find a 3D printed Iron Man suit. It'd make for a very funny like Amityville horror. Yeah. Do you like Miles Morales? Yes, I liked Into the Spider Verse. Um, wait, you have a Discord? Is there a link? Someone hit the man. You have your first request. Mods, you guys are slacking. Pick it up. 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 Um, so yeah, my phone is blowing up because of this. Uh, wow, over twenty notifications. If you ever get a chance, blah 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 blah. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. So we're gonna try to ignore the phone tonight. Um, I'm gonna try to. Get the camera better situated because trying to do the do it all up here just it's not going to go well. So yeah, so let me try to move this around. I have it on a stabilization gimbal, but it doesn't cooperate sometimes. So we're going to what do we want to do here? We're going to want to move this forward. Work with me here. I was gonna just put my webcam in like a bird's eye view, but the quality of that is dookie, and I don't want to do that. So we're gonna do our best to get this camera. Need a, I need like a like a like a really good like macro or what is it a macro lens? I don't know what it's called. Something that 
Yeah, if we can get it, if we can get it to stabilize right there, I'll be happy. Go like that. The Discord is super awesome. You're right. So like that. Uh, it's gonna point down for a second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have an idea. We're gonna get this, guys. You should make an entirely battle damage Iron Man suit, then make a video where you use sneaky edit cuts and make it look like you're non battles. That would be that would be very cool, actually. That's actually a good idea. If I do this. I'm using a I'm using a shop rag right now to kind of like prop it up. I think I think we can work with that. I think if I move everything kind of over here, I think we can work with this. And let me get rid of some of this like clutter. I love clutter. So we'll pick the light up. Look at that. This is just the whole stream, guys. Just stare at the, just stare at it, you know. Kayla, how could you be late? Rumor has it there are some pretty awesome people in Discord. There are some pretty awesome people in Discord. So have you guys heard about Patreon potentially not doing so good? So we're gonna we're gonna see how that plays out. Um, yeah. I would love, so outside in, I would love to make a full battle damage suit, um, but that involves making a whole suit and damaging it, which, not gonna lie, doesn't sound fun. Um, a, my battle damage takes longer than it probably has any right to, and uh, yeah. So, honestly guys, I'm pretty happy with the damage. I think I wanna do a little bit more on the top right here, but I think the oils, I think all the oily kind of re residue I got in here looks pretty good. It looks washed and it looks metal. That's what I wanted. Um, I went a little bit different with the scarring on this side. I feel like the top's a little too plain though. Like, right, that's just too plain of a surface. I don't know if the, uh, yeah, okay, make sure. Please make an Iron Patriot Mark II. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So what do I want to do here? I have burns. I can do some really nice scratches. So let's do some, like, let's do some good scratches. And then I'm literally just going to... Uh, time for Frank to make an OnlyFans? Yep. Doesn't it just hurt watching me do this? I bet. I heard about the Patreon stuff, so you need to see how it all pays out. Yes. A maths compass. Oh yeah, no, you can You can use anything. You can use anything you want to make damage to rough it up, to mess it up. It's literally just making it look not good. And now that I'm looking at it, there is a spot I missed. So we're gonna heat up the old handy dandy soldering iron. Maybe crowdfunding would take over. There is certain rules and stipulations with what you can and can't crowdfund. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the uh, the Instafots, um, I think a lot of them get in trouble because you'll see some of them have like their PayPal like just set up on their accounts or they're like, you know, sell me money or do this and like you can get a lot of trouble for, you're, you're just requesting funds. Uh, while that heats up, I'm going to start disassembling the eyes. So I just took them apart. We're going to, uh, yeah, those are ready to go. Oh. Oh, okay, yep, I forgot. I actually broke one already in another situation. So these are already kind of pre-broke. We'll go with that. Yeah, I'm not a big War Machine fan. I'm sorry. The weakest part of the build is usually corner bits, so try adding some scratches or dents to the top right of the gold bit. Well, there's damage there, and then I have my nice big dent right here. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Make it look good by making it look not good. If you want a good burn effect, hold a Roman candle, add it, powder. 
The powder and the burns give it a great seal. Oh, that's pretty cool. To print fake bullets and then stick it. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. It's it's all it has to do with material science and organics and the only pr the big problem with something like this is nanotech doesn't exist. So like you material science only goes so far. If we know like I could Google right now what does metal look like when you shoot a gun with it, you know, shoot it with a bullet. Um you can Google that, you can find that. Nanotech isn't something that exists. So how would it take damage? Um and the way Endgame kind of made it out to be Endgame and Infinity War, especially um the beginning of Endgame, when you see the damaged Mark 85 Mark 50 helmet. It almost looks like metal. It looks melting. It looks um, like it's trying to reshape and reform. That's kind of the, what I was going for with this whole look. My Saturn Iron is putting up. Yep. Don't forget about War Machine. Haha, <laughs> War Machine. Yeah, he won. Maybe chip away at bits, like a bit of the jaw. So when you put it on, you can see a bit of your mouth. That's So the only spots I have where you can see through, you can see a little bit through here, and then you can see through here. Um, I wanted to maintain, and then all of these actually are all the way through, all this all this damage up here. Uh, I didn't want to go too crazy with how many holes were in it. I did think about doing an 85, very similar to the Mark 50, where this is all just burned off. Like, it, it is half its face. Um, maybe. Maybe one day. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I like how this came out. This guy right here, it's a little hard to see. But it, it's it like it's folding back, and then I'm really proud of this one. I wanted this to look like the nanotech was trying to build up under it, and I was able to take advantage of the infill, uh, the design of the infill. It actually has different layers on it, and it looks this looks like metal. This looks like straight up metal. So I'm very happy with that one. I do not have a Darth Vader helmet. Um, I'm not a big enough Star Wars fan to warrant making Darth Vader helmet. I did get a drone though, so I'm happy about that. So, so that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. So what I think I'm gonna do is add another mark here. Kind of a bigger one. Kind of over the top. Oh, you know what? Let me turn that extractor fan on. Hold on. There we go. What's up, Smith Guard? Just something to kind of break up the how empty this spot is. Like, it's like something was coming at him, and then he kind of ducked down, and it just ricocheted off his head. That transition to Vader, yep, it was, it was, uh, it was a little rehearsed. Was it not? Maybe actually I'm going to add a little bit of a smaller one up here. What I like to imagine, like nanotech technology... Similar to melting plastic, like the way nanotech seems to form around him in the movie, and when you melt metal and you melt plastic, they sometimes kind of have a lot of the same properties. So I'm trying to kind of capitalize on that. If you think about it, he probably lands on his back, so maybe you could crack at the bottom of the back of the head. I'm not going to do cracks. I don't think this helmet would ever take cracks. But what I can do is some burns back here. So I messed this helmet up. I messed this helmet up bad because um, I battle damaged it. But what I mean by that is I should have done all like the picture that was in the preview. I should have done the damage first like I did with that first one and I messed my order of my process up and it uh, it irks me because it's harder now to do all this 
And what I mean by that is what I like to do is I'm making like a hole, like a raised hole. Um, what I like to do is damage it, sand it, get it all smooth, damage it, prime it, and then chrome it. And I didn't do it this time because I'm a freaking idiot. So what now I have to do is no matter now when I damage it, instead of having chrome under the paint and like having all the damage already there, I uh, I have to go in and add the chrome afterwards. So I did this in the bad a bad order. I'm not happy with it, but I still have to finish it. So that's what we're gonna do. Just uh, I don't know. So I don't know if you guys can see like these electric burn things that I have going on all over. Um, so yeah, was the, Mark, was the Mark 40 helmet that was on your story a potential project because I am a major fan of the shotgun armor? Brandon, Brandon, uh, stay tuned for the shotgun. I am not building it. I am actually printing that entire suit for somebody. I am only printing the parts and then he is going to make it and it's, uh, it's going to be a fun project. Um, so you'll see more of it. We are modifying it slightly for some things. So we'll see. This is like the best worst soldering iron ever. And I hate it. But goddamn, does it get hot. So it's not melting plastic right now. I have wood filler all back here from where the uh, the supports were. So it's 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 acting weird. I literally just start to draw lines and let my let my shaky ass hand just kind of do some of the damage for me. You should make a small stormtrooper model than a TIE fighter and make it stop motion animation. I would like to do some type of stop motion where it's like me putting on the suit. But just... Did I damage? I thought I damaged that. I could have sworn I stuck... Hmm. I guess I'm making things up, folks. I'm making things up. And then, right here's a little plane. I don't like everything that's going on here, so I'm going to actually add a little bit of something back here kind of breaks this up then kind of cuts through all of this oh come on fan do something jesus christ It is the best worst thing you'll ever do is battle them or something. Adam Savage was so right. It's so nerve wracking, but once you commit, you, it's just like I can do whatever I want to this and not feel bad. <sighs> this all sounds really fun. Get a printer, man. I'm giving one away. Um, nothing like using a palm sander at one am. You live in Britain, right? If so, we share a country. I do. I am. Uh, I live near Cambridge, actually. Um, me and you and Caleb putting on the suit. Basically, are you going to motorize the damage helmet? No, this is just going to have a magnetic, motor, uh, magnetic removable faceplate. You guys are so nice. God, compared to some of the other live stream chats, this is like heaven. That's because if you're mean, we'll ban you from everything. Like, literally everything. Um, I'm okay with this damage. I think I'm going to call it there. Unplug the soldering. All right. I burn the crap out of myself. And so we get the complicated bits out. Now we're gonna pull out the handy gantney. Heat gun. Pew pew pew. Pew pew. Are you making laser noises in all the time in my head? You got that reference. We can be friends. Alright, so I have so this is another damage helmet. This is my the giveaway contest Mark Six. This is already spoken for. This is going to um, uh, Collins cosplay. He's in London actually, and I've been waiting so long for these these LED eyes. I haven't had a chance to finish it. 
So I just got these in. So he'll be getting his. This is my last giveaway prize, but I I waited like two months for these damn eyes to show up. So this is all broken LED eye. And I'm going to show you guys how I bend them into place. Uh, what do we got? Let's hit the chat because it's almost that time. Ah, uh, it's good for the immune system. I'm not going to enter because I have three printers and I really want to see someone that doesn't have a printer win it and join us in this lovely hobby. Well, Sean, if you wanted to share it and if you shared it in your story and didn't tag me, everyone you follow could, everyone who follows you could still see it, but then I wouldn't get your name for the submission. So if there are people you want to, like you are more than welcome to do that, but if you don't tag me in that shared post, I won't enter your name. So that's totally up to you. I'm not, you know, that's completely up to you. I know you live in Britain, but your accent sounds very North American. What makes you say that? Hey, it's red. I, I'm American. I'm American. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Do you want me to initiate the house party? Oh, yep. Yeah, Smithguard got it. Wait, did you just say you like Frank? Saying our best behavior during the live streams. Pretty sure half your viewers right now know. Well, most of us stay on the best behavior. Also, I have a giveaway. How do I enter? And listen, Inferno, head over to Instagram. Is there a color you prefer to do the faceplate? I prefer black or gray. Um, I prefer gold. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Hey, red. That's that's cool, dude. Thank you for sharing it. I'm pretty sure you said you're from Brooklyn originally. No, I never said I was from Brooklyn. This might be the first time I've said the word Brooklyn in a live stream, which makes that the second time. So I've said Brooklyn three times now, and that's it. And you could probably go through all my videos and live streams, and I'm 99% sure I've never said Brooklyn four times. Alright, bro, if I'm not American, that was bad. That was really bad. Is that offensive? I don't know. Cool. So I have to bend one LED eye very minusculely because it's already it's already broken. So what I do is I cut the plastic off of them and I leave the little bit of white. Might be hard to see. Oh there it is. Um, I leave a little bit of white right there to kind of block in the LED. So this will obviously go on the damaged eye. And then we have the one over here. I have a lot of people message me saying like, oh, I broke the LED eyes. How do you heat them up? And it's like, you just heat them up till they're like rubber. I'm from Joyzy. I'm offended. Be offended. I don't care. Be offended all you want. That's your God-given right. Be offended with anything and everything you want. You can be offended that I'm battle damaging a helmet. I don't care. Because just like you can be offended, I cannot give a shit. That's also my right. So. And that's the way the world works. Not whatever way everybody tries to paint it as. So it is going to get a little loud because there's a heat gun. You know. Outside, in, you struck a nerve. Never accuse someone from Jersey of being New York. Man, you're not wrong. <laughs> is that a DO3D helmet file? No, this is the CG Trader Akira Yuming helmet file. Hello, I'm from Puerto Rico. All right. Uh, so when you're messing with these LED eyes, you can actually feel one side. Did I? How did I do that? That's super interesting. That's I've never seen it melted like that, but I'm kind of glad I did that. Anyway, there's a really flat side and then there's the side with the white dots. Those, the side with the white dots is supposed to go towards your eyes because the light wants to reflect out from them. So this is going to go, I'm calling Karen. On second thought, I'm not joining. I don't have enough friends for that anyway. What do you mean you're not joining? You can just enter the contest. So you don't want to overheat the LED itself, so I always hold it at like an angle and just try to heat the plastic.
And it should turn into... Uh, see, it's not warm enough yet. And now it's nice and bendable like rubber. And just push it in. And it's going to be hot, so don't burn yourself if you do this. You'll probably burn yourself regardless, but I warned you. Now you can do a few things here. Once you're pressing it in to contour it, you can literally tape it down, but it might leave a little bit of residual there. So just be careful with that. Um, but if you blow on it, it'll cool it down quicker. And to make sure I didn't roast the LED eye, we're going to actually test this real quick. Best thing I ever did was get rechargeable AAA batteries. You don't actually, yeah, you can really tag anybody. You can tag me. Thanks, Quentin Esp. We have a little bit of a celebrity in the chat, guys. Uh, Quentin Esp right there is the guy who designed my Stormbreaker and the free Thingiverse uh, Mjolnir, and it is very accurate, and it is very awesome. So go check his Etsy shop out. Unless I'm literally being an idiot, I'm pretty sure the battle damaging thing is the same as making things. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Technically, once you got rid of something on a build or change it, it's a different build and changes the whole thing, so you're destroying it, making something new. Hey, you're not wrong. Unmaking. Wow, this got deep. <laughs> we're, we're, by, we're creating by destroying, right? Is that how this works? Creating by destroying. So, guys, uh, I'm, I, I, I meant to mention this in the beginning of the live stream. But this is going to be one of two live streams this month. We're cutting it back to two a week because I just, I, that's what I'm doing. So it's hard to see, but the LED eye does work. Um, yeah, so we're going to be, this will be one. And then the second live stream will be, I believe, August 23rd. We're going to skip, we're going to skip one weekend, two weekends. Can I have to do math? We're going to skip two weekends. So we're going to do the second and we're going to do the 23rd. Um, yeah. Not two a week. You meant, I meant, you know, you know what I meant. Shut up. <laughs> I'm dyslexic, okay? I mix things up a lot. Um, yeah, we're going to be cutting it back just a little. Because uh, I want to be able to make more meaningful content and not just hit you guys with random live streams. Two a month. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Um, oh, you know what? Yeah, I already stripped them. Okay, cool. Cyanoacrylate glue is amazing. Gonna let that dry. You're dyslexic, my friend is dyslexic, he has a hard time in school. Outside in, you took that a little too serious. Um, I, if, if I am a little dyslexic, it, it is minuscule. Um, I will be talking and just straight up mix up um, crucial words in a sentence. Um, I confuse my left and my right all the time. Uh, it's not like a diagnosed thing, but it. it I, it's been all my life. I've uh, severely mixed a lot of things up, and I'll be talking and just flip straight up flip two words. Kayla, Kayla can attest to this. Um, random live stream is what the disc, <laughs> Discord workshop. This isn't random. This is thought out. Sh 
surely if we post, he has to do more streams. The glue is two-part miter bond cyanoacrylate. Great. Yeah, it's uh, never gotten me in like trouble, but it's it's annoying. It's it's very annoying. Yeah, all the time. Turn left points right. Yeah. I, I want to say, I know, I'm like, hey, I want you to turn left. I point left, but when I say it, it comes out turn right. All the time. What brand is that heat gun? I don't know. Tack Life? This didn't, this didn't grab properly. Yeah, son of a... I want to model version of that would be cool. You should you should model that. That'd be really cool to see you do that. Huh, this I wonder if my activator is starting to go, because this is not sticking. You know what I'll do? I will throw a tiny, 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 tiny piece of masking tape on this. Just to, just to encourage him to stay in that position. Okay, well, while that's trying to dry, we're gonna do the big eye. And then I want it to be like this. See how it's already starting to bend just from the air? See how it's flexible now? That's what you want it to be at when you go and install it. Oh my god. Just wanted to say thank you because just chatting like this and talking about a common interest we all have takes our mind off of what is going on in the world. You're welcome outside in. I think more people should be doing this and communicate with the community. Not too big on Mjolnir, but speaking of God of War, the Blades of Chaos and Artemis' Blade. Artemis' Blade would be amazing. Um, that was my favorite weapon in God of War 3? 2? 3? Wasn't it 1? 2? I think it was 1. Um, I, I guess I enjoyed making his growing weapons after making Mjolnir, Stormbreaker, and Elfin. I didn't know that's, that was time those swords. But, and maybe Gunger. Fade away Bill's hammer, that'd be dope. How is it going on? Hey man, I hear you using a noise gate. I would raise the threshold and use it. Reduce the volume, not to cut it out completely, but when... I'll have to look into that. I'm not going to go mess with that right now because OBS has been giving me trouble lately. How long does it stay flexible? Eh, a few seconds. Long enough to work with. Oracle's cave lives in a cave. Oracle, are you walking around without a mask on? Because if you are, you're wrong. See? Now it's, for now it's formed perfectly to that mask. Wear a mask, people. Because even if everything's wrong, is it really that inconvenient? If all the data's wrong, if everything's wrong about this and that and whatever, just wear a damn mask. Because if it's right, if everything's right, then you can make a difference. You made a difference. Worst case, you have a piece of cloth on your face. You literally have nothing to lose. And the majority of the world has bad teeth anyway, so guess what? If you fall into that category, then, you know, people don't have to look at your gross teeth. 
Look at the bright side. You don't have to smile at people anymore. Like, you can just, you know, you can do, like, the eyebrow thing where you walk by and, like, you know, kind of tilt your head back and raise your eyebrows. OBS gang. <laughs> Hoping my LED eyes arrive in the next few days. All I need more wires, which I haven't bought yet. Whoops. Wear an Iron Man mask. I can show you how to make an Iron Man mask. All right. So, one of the eyes is in. The full eyes in there. Okay. So now I'm going to add a couple of broken bits to kind of solidify in here. I have a couple of broken bits. So we're going to use... I need some clear ones. These ones are kind of junky. That one's disgusting. That one... Eh, that's not too bad. That one's pretty gross. We can work with that. We can work with that. We're going to work with that. All right, we're going to work with... So I know a lot of you wait for these LED eyes forever, and I'm just sitting here cutting them apart in this fun. This is why you're on the live. This is why we're, uh, we're tuned in. And then I need something to hold this with so I don't burn my little fingies. Now, since there's no LED in this one, I can literally just roast it above the, the, the heat gun. You can judge people, and they would never know. Oh, you're not wrong. Ooh, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. And we'll go with, like, that. Ooh. Warm. Hey, a mass community also means more people like you for your, for your personality than your looks. That, or you get to be more expressive with the mask. Exactly. Thank you. Just wear it on your face. No problem with you saving lives. Stop whining and thinking about the world. And no need for makeup. Well, half of makeup. You don't have to wear lipstick and all that fun stuff. <laughs> I work for someone who has bad breath. Oh, bad breath. It happens. Oh, I don't work with. We don't work together. If I didn't, don't. Um, yeah, we don't work together. She's. I do have some gnarly breath sometimes. Everybody does. Don't lie. And if you're married, that other per your SO is going to fi going to find your bad breath. It's gonna happen. It's inevitable. Is England still in quarantine? You're using the word quarantine, I think, a little too freely there, Oracle. Like, there's really no places that are still in quarantine, but pe you're, we still should be social, social, <laughs> social distancing. We still should be cognizant that there is a pandemic, that there is a virus going around. You should social distance. You should wear a mask. You should. St that is still happening. I don't think any countries are still in full lockdown or quarantine. There's still travel restrictions. There's still people dying. There's still people completely neglecting the rules. Um, the U.S. is pretty bad with this right now, but a lot of places are pretty bad with this right now, including England. So there's that. I want to break off. Oh, man. Came off. Boo. 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 Everything is starting to open up, and it shouldn't. Uh. <laughs> when he came out of the rhino, you're right. I'm sorry if I'm talking about quarantine and saying thank you, loads being all sappy. Quarantine has been really hard on me. I have autism and ADHD, and it makes it difficult and stressful. Um, I, outside in, I totally get that. Um, this is very hard on, on everybody. It's hard on kids. It's hard on kids with, on the spectrum. It's hard on teenagers who are used to being social butterflies and being outside it's hard on everybody um but i think it is mostly hard on kids on younger crowds um because as you get older a lot of people start to realize like damn i kind of like being alone a little bit like we want our yes come in please hold folks
Kisses. Mwah. I love you. She brought me a drink, guys. Isn't she the best? Thanks, wife. Um, yeah, it's difficult. Uh, we can we can make this into a real talk kind of situation. Is it the same Frank that I saw in the news channel interview? Haha, -ha, yes it is. That's me. Um, you need to quarantine for 14 days. Melbourne, stage 4 lockdown, including your curfew. Oh, wow. Interesting. There's a lot of people on the spectrum in some way, a lot of people with a lot of things. There's a lot of things that we're discovering about humans that we just didn't know that we would attribute to <sighs> witches. <laughs> You're a witch. Um, humans used to be really stu stupid. Humans are still stupid, but at least we have now have names for a lot of the things we used to neglect and ignore. Ooh, that's a, a spicy boy. Ooh. Ooh, it melted to the friggin' scissors. Woo! Yeah. Life's tough right now. So if you know any, if you are a kid, or you know a kid who is struggling, or you have a niece or a nephew or a child, and don't tell them to just deal with it, please. Don't tell them, oh, whatever, you're, what, you're just stuck inside. Like, don't, don't do that. Talk to them, hang out with them, play with them. It's a great time to get into 3D printing since you're stuck at home anyway. I have Spectrum Internet. That count? I mean, it could. You're literally on Spectrum. But it's... So yeah, this stream has made a rather bad day a bit better. Well, I'm, I'm glad I, that this, this community could help you like that. Um, this, is, this, is, this is a very interesting chat, guys. I appreciate everybody for tuning in joining don't forget to like comment and subscribe and go check out the contest on instagram because i'm very excited to be giving away this printer all right so the cracked led eyes in i don't even think you guys are paying attention to what i'm doing anymore so that's fun but you know whatever it's still exciting And the other thing I, st I, uh, I need to start doing with these masks is because this is what the stream's for. It's not about the quarantine. <laughs> um, I need to start running the wires before I melt the magnets in. Hey, outside in, take it easy, man. I'll hopefully catch you during the next streams. Love you, David Ross. I don't really know who you are, but I love you too. You're awesome. All right, so we're going to be going up. No, it fell. Oh, I, I didn't glue it. <sighs> Guys, I need, I'm working too much. I'm, I, I know I just said it's not going to, but the world needs to go back to normal. <laughs> it's not going to. <laughs> Big sad. Here in Holland, the Netherlands, little kids may play together. Teens must keep one to five meter distance, even adults and elders. I don't know if I agree with all of that, but that's something. One of the things I like most, like most, I most liked in the Mark Pad was the gold shoulders. All the classic visual from the comics, since the of armor, see all the gold and iron. Yes, you are. That that's I like that a lot too. Turns out I have another fifty minutes. I'm back. Yay! Welcome back. Um, especially G. All right, don't start turning this into like a cult. Careful there, guy. That's the last thing I need. If you watch Umbrella Academy, you know exactly how 
Colts can go. Which the new season? Whoa! Drop the heat gun. Ah, uh, it's caught under my chair. That's why. That scared the bejesus out of me. Also, that's how I react in case of emergencies. I make up words. Does that create? Does that create fires? Always got a hole. Yes. Every single one of them, it, it starts to crack and slip through. They all do it. The only cult I follow is Colts 3D. You know, I don't think I've ever been on that website. Ever. Eh, mm, maybe stlfinder.com brought me there once. Mm. Maybe? The Cult of Frank? No, that's a bad idea, Tony. That's... Let's... No. Stop. It's, stop trying to make it a thing. It's never going to be a thing. Ooh, can I get demonetized for coding movies? Guys, can you watch my videos more? Can I ask that? There was some great stuff there where I got those Android 18 files. Ah. Yeah, well, those are creepy. Me neither. If you are sure you don't have COVID, why all the rules? I work at people their homes. The one will not let us eat inside the other. One. I'm saving up for a new Radeon GPO, and it's between that and a 3D printer. Help me. Uh, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say 3D printer. That's just who I am as a person. I'm, I'm, I'm an enabler. I'm not the person you ask advice for. I'm going to say yes. I just bought a drone yesterday. Like, don't ask me for advice. That's a bad idea. Now, if you want to get a 3D printer, uh, I, I, I'm not saying I'm an authority on it, but I, I know a thing or two. Because I've seen a thing or two. Oh, I'll put it up Kyle Davis. He technically a cult is or just a religion or belief with no legal power. There was a there's some gray areas. Let's move away from the cult talk. I'm getting worried now. <laughs> Wanted to jump in to give a shout out to Frank through his videos and others. I have been inspired to jump on 3D printing for cosplay as well. Hey Kyle, you're welcome, dude. Thank you for the shout out. Thank you for being awesome. And thank you for being awesome. I spent 12 minutes figuring out how to make a story and mention people I'm not used to Insta, so forgive me. Hey, thanks, dude. Um, do you put any foam in the forms of your suit? Nope, I did not. Upvote 3D printer also. Hello, Frank and everyone. Hello, 3D printing and painting. What's up, man? Your Facebook group is awesome. Same here. My advice is usually along the lines of I don't know to do, do whatever. Ah, uh, let's see how bad this has gotten. 65 notifications, 22 stories, 15 tags. And, um, yeah, that's fun. Cool. Well, that's going great. That's going swimmingly. Oh, uh, uh, funny, funny little story. What time is it? It's only 9 o'clock. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not making any headway on this helmet. Like, the eyes are in, but I'm not making as much progress as I wanted. You guys suck, and your guys are distracting me. I blew a grand on drones and bubbles, too. Just starting. Anyway. Enabler, that's a funny word, isn't it? Gary King and the Enablers, by the way, if you know what that reference is, you're awesome. I've never got that one. Never heard that. Mike was definitely an enabler for me, but it's the best possible way. You know, uh, I, I said it, um, I, I actually, so that interview that was on the news channel or whatever, we talked for like over an hour. Um, she, we, she wanted a lot of content. She wanted a lot of options, you know, to play with. Um, but like there were times where we just straight up got distracted. Like we were just chatting about printing and all that. And uh, I, I did mention, and I, I don't think I've ever had anybody message me and say I hate this hobby. I'm quitting. I like once they figure it out. Now I've seen people quit the hobby, but that's usually on the Facebook groups when people are giving awful advice and just I mean just bad advice um, and pe sending people down these rabbit holes of troubleshooting that they have no right even trying to help troubleshoot like um i'm not saying me in particular like I, I know plenty of you guys have recommended 3d printing to friends and like i don't i don't see people quit it a lot 
There we go. Not bad. The batteries, I think my batteries are a little bit dead, but we'll live. So that works. Oh my god. Uh, Mr. Builds, can I call you can I call you Frank? Frank, do you like friends? I like friends. What size nozzle do you use? Tony, on what printer? I have a couple different nozzle sizes I use use across my printers. I I'm I'm very fond of a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Um, my, my CR-10 S's, my two CR-10 S's and my Ender 5 Plus both have a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. My CR-10 Max currently has a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, but I will be upgrading that to a 0.8. My Ender 3 has a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Yeah. So, that's a thing. Um, 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 okay. So, real quick, if anybody's doing a helmet and does the magnetic tabs, you guys see how I painted these like an idiot? Yeah, don't do that. Um, I was having some connectivity issues, and I couldn't figure out why. The, the mask was like, it was, the eyes were flickering on and off. It's because I had paint gunked up in there, so. Don't be me. Clean that shit out. Clean metal contact is a happy metal contact. Ah, oh my goodness, I joined the Creality group and I asked how to set up the bed. Some guy just said, let it print, and the nozzle dug into the bed. I stopped looking there afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that will happen. What size nozzle on your Ender 5? A 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Unless it's something really small. Um, I will always use a 0.3 millimeter layer height with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Um, that's what all my whole suit was printed with. Uh, that's what all the Star Boost was printed with. Um, guys, Star Boost shins are huge. I might actually not have enough filament. Um, I just burned through so much filament doing the rest of the shins, and then I still need to do the thighs. It like used up almost as much filament as the entire upper body did. Then again, I did accidentally print a few small things with the Sunlu or the Monoprice filament that I shouldn't have, and I didn't realize it. I never swapped over to the other Sunlu I had. Um, so, yeah. I might, uh, I might have to buy some more, because I doubt they'll send me more. <laughs> All right, those are going to be melted, but I want to strip this away. Okay, and we'll strip these away. So where the plastic kind of bulges and folds over, like when you melt it, I'm cutting that away. Because I, I don't think it should be a raised surface. It should be a melted, indented surface. So it's smooth. Right, and then uh, the damage is receded, not like a mountain. Yeah, we can work with that. You can fit so much plastic in this bad boy. All right, what do we got? I draw the crowd. Do my entire suit with a point for million rise or point three eight. One second. Any new gunpla builds? Nah, Andy. Um, I haven't built. I don't have time to build gunpla anymore. Why not just point three with a point four? If you don't mind me asking, because it's not the best idea to uh, to almost. I don't like doing seventy five percent of your max nozzle. 
It, it's not, some people will say that's fine. I haven't had good luck with that because you're straining the limits of your nozzle. I like to do 50%. Um, it's, it's less strain on the extruder. It's less strain because there is a small amount of pressure that builds up in your nozzle and your hot end. So when you start printing with, when you start approaching your max nozzle diameter, you're putting more strain on that system um, by upgrading your nozzle size and using like 50% of its max diameter, you, everything can print better. What are you printing at 150 millimeters a second? What printer do you have, Endless? That's uh, CR20, yeah, I guess, okay. Artillery Sidewinder does things good when it's not broken. I don't think I've ever had worse feedback about a printer <laughs> next, to, next to the Annette than an artillery. I hear good things about eSun. Yeah. I know a couple people with artilleries and they are broken and waiting on parts more often than they're actually printing with the damn things. I find it kind of funny. All right, um, directions. I have to get the wires around the magnets now. Oh, God, I got so much to do. So much to do. I got some red wire right here. We'll use this. Hey, might be crazy. I might not know if I'm talking about or using the wrong words. I need a sensei, to be honest. <laughs> You got lucky then. Chat's starting to look a little uh, quiet, guys. I'm still trying to answer some questions. Educate the masses. Hero 3D. Freaks me out. I see so many people in the Facebook groups with broken printers. It's because they're not... <sighs> your printer will break. Your printer will fail. Your printer will go down. Something will clog. It's a machine, not an appliance. It's a tool, not an appliance. And a lot of people don't think about that. Um, a lot of people aren't ready for that. You will have to troubleshoot it. It, do it has wearable items. It's, it's not perfect. Um... I got I, I got curious from what part of the world are people here from? I'm from Brazil. I think I'm going to head over to Randy's Donuts and hang out on the roof. Do it! In Northern Ireland, I guess. Will you mold the parts and cast them? Endless Inferno? What are you talking about? How much PLA did you use to make the Keyblade? Um, dude, I have no idea, Dayton. I made that so long ago. It was, one, it was my first big project. I have no idea how much filament I used for that. A lot. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, microphone users. Or headphone users. <laughs> um, I used a lot, probably more than I should have, because it was my, like, I didn't understand supports. I didn't understand a lot. So, realistically, you should only need a roll, and you should be able to make the Keyblade, if that.
Don't wait for a clog. Change. I've never changed a tip. That's a myth. I am definitely over two, three thousand hours on both my CR10s. Never changed my point six. Printer is a tool. We get spare bits from drillers, drillers, saw blades, and the spare parts for printer is the same deal. It's it's the time difference is very noticeable, Sean. Um, you're welcome. No, I'm not going to mold and cast these. It, it's I don't have the I don't have the room to set up something like that, and we move we move too much for me to ever um, be able to do something like that. This right here. Tony, that'd be awesome, man. Um, uh, honestly, if we don't end up back in Japan after here, we uh, we are gonna try to probably go to Florida. So we'll see. Um, see how that plays out. It'd be kind of fun. I'd love to meet a lot of you guys, and girls, gals, dudes, and dudettes. You have like a barbecue or in the soup. The Teflon above it? You mean you mean like the Bowden tube? There's no Teflon above my nozzles. My nozzles are my nozzles. There are many like it, but this one is mine. The first person I'm probably honestly going to meet is going to be RD, and I haven't seen him in the chat. Because um, he lives a uh, town over, just we've never met up. I can read the news. Florida man walks around and barbecue and <laughs> iron suit a barbecue. A frankly con. Ah. You know, it would be super cool to get big enough to be invited to one of those maker creator con things that like they do for the like big YouTubers. It'd be really friggin' sweet, but I don't think I'll ever, ever be at that level. Like that's no way. I think you need a gold play button for to get invited to those types of things. And getting a silver would be cool enough, but future problems. Um, I get rand I just have a random Amazon kit. That's what I got. It was like some random assortment pack of nozzles, and that's what I grabbed. And uh, I have I have point eights, I have point fours, point twos, point threes, point fives, but everybody kept recommending a point six, and now I do too because it was pretty friggin' awesome. I like it. And then I just I ordered a pack of Ziltec point six millimeter nozzles as replacements, and I swapped one just to test it, and it wouldn't print like it, it was printing like shit. So I swapped it back. Um, because I people were like, oh, you should probably swap your nozzles out soon. I'm like, okay, that sounds like a plan. So I got them, and I couldn't get anything to stick with them. They were curling up, and, they, and I had re-leveled. I'd done everything I could, um, and they're still sitting in my closet. Um, and then I just bought a new brand of 0.6 millimeter nozzles off of Amazon, and I don't know what brand those are either, but they're on my Ender. Guys, a bird chased my drone yesterday. We were testing it out at the beach, and a friggin' bird started to chase it. I was so nervous. I thought it was going to destroy it. Just whack myself in the head with my mule and I'd love to meet you, Frank, but honestly, I'm a nervous wreck and scared of meeting people. I still th think you need your own TV show. You can just print a play button and pray it's good enough to score an invite. <laughs> That'd be cool. 
I have thought about making my own in play button. Um, I've seen some people do it. it it's kind of funny just to have it in the background, but uh, it wouldn't be the same. Frank, have you ever cosplayed before the Mark 85? No, and I still don't feel like I, I've cosplayed at this point. I haven't been to a convention with it. I've dressed up in it and done some pictures and done some videos, but like, I don't feel like I'm. I don't still don't feel like I've ever cosplayed. I have never gone to an event in costume. I have never costume played. So, no. I've always kind of wanted to. I thought it would always be kind of fun and cool, but. I don't know. Would you guys call me a cosplayer? I don't. Or am I, or am I just a poser? Poser's the word. How do you get the gold and silver play buttons? Um, silver play a silver play button is a hundred thousand subscribers, and a gold play button is a million. Or no, is that the platinum? I just got a longer one K four Pro printer. Yeah, it turns together, but it won't print anything. It heats up, moves to the bottom left corner, drops a dot of filament, then it stops and starts cooling down. Uh, a 1K4 printer? I've never heard of that brand. Um, I'm not sure. That is... That might be out of my realm of familiarity, my friend. Anybody? Join the Discord. So your debut will be SDCC? No. If if I have to wait another year, that'll be, I'll, I'll be so mad. There better be a, a convention before that somewhere. Hopefully MCM Comic Con opens back up. Um... But, and that's even if we can, I can make it to San Diego. I'd be very upset if I couldn't. What speeds do you print at when using your 0.6 and 0.3? I usually print um, on my, my CR10Ss. I print anywhere between a 50 to a 70 a millimeter a second, depending on what I'm printing and how much bed wobble there will be. Uh, how much is my bed actually going to move forward and back? If it's not, if, it's, if I'm printing like a blade, like a sword or something, and it, th then I can orient it where the bed's not moving a lot, then I'll print it at a 70. On my Ender 5 Plus, though, I'm printing it at a 90, and it's friggin' awesome. It is so much faster than my CR-10 Max. It is disgusting. I believe just wearing the suit and taking pictures with people makes you a cosplayer by default. Eh. Silver, gold, diamond... Ruby? Does anybody have a? Does anybody have those? Is that a thing? I've never heard of that. I have some plans for some cool videos that hopefully, like, are just fun to watch. You know, like they're not educational. They're not tutorials. They're not. They're not anything like that. They're just fun videos, and that's what I really want to kind of start making now that the suit's kind of done. Along with all my other projects. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Joseph, maybe that file reform your SD card, reload your print. Oh, yeah, if it's the stock SD, PewDiePie has a Ruby. Oh, man. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. PewDiePie! Not a fan. Please forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> nah, he's that dude's rich. <laughs> which drone? What? What are you talking about? Which drone? What are you talking about? So the faceplate's wired. See. Oh. This has probably been asked a lot, but I'm on the fence with all the different slicers out there. Information is curious, been solid, but it seems difficult to measure the inside of armor parts. You shouldn't be using your slicer to measure parts. That's probably where you're kind of messing up. Um, download Armorsmith, and it'll let you measure things much better for armor parts.
I cosplayed a bit on anime cons here in Brazil more than 10 years ago. I just joined cosplay on Comic Con com com experience here in 2018. With... Oh, that's awesome. Or Mesh Mixer. Yeah, Mesh Mixer works pretty good too for measuring. If you're very invested in armors and stuff, though, um, our armor smith's not a bad investment. You know, I've never seen anyone ask to let me. Why don't you have a metal frame for the suit so you can stand up properly? And Liz, I want you to really think about that question and what that would entail. Like a metal frame inside the plastic suit. Think about that. And then think about trying to put that on. Ruby PewDiePie was actually his custom 500 million civil war. It's a bro fist. He just calls his Ruby play button in his red diamonds play button. How do you know how big each parts have to be for the suit? Uh, I printed everything at 100%, so I didn't really need to... What kind of flex tape do you like to use? What, what do you mean flex tape? Like electrical tape? Any? Hydraulics would be dope. Some people have tried it. There was someone on uh, YouTube or Facebook trying to make, they were building a metal uh, skeleton for their suit. And bless his heart, it was not coming out that good. It is very complicated. Um, I think he was approaching it the wrong way. He was trying to, it just, it wasn't coming out right. Um, it's very, very tricky. We're not there technology wise yet. It would be awesome, but it would make the suit so much bigger and uncomfortable. How did you put the dents in plastic? I, I, I melted it. Brandon, I literally just took a heat gun to it and pushed it in. Heat gun. Science. Science, yeah! All right, let's see, are we at 100 yet? 75, 24, neat. So this is going swimmingly. Cool. So, yep, don't forget about the count, the uh, printer. Did you hand paint the scratches? I did the scratches. They're not painted, they're, oh, like, like actually painted inside of them? Uh, yeah, they're all hand painted, if that's what you mean. I still have to go back and touch this up, which actually I will do right now. Um, to show you guys how I paint this stuff as well. This obviously this helmet's not going to get done. I still need to wire. I still need to run the wires in the helmet, attach the elastic. Um, so, but this can be a, like an all inclusive. I did a little bit of everything kind of video, you know. Why not? I can do what I want. It's my channel. At what point could I call myself a like a, a genuine YouTuber? Is that when I quit my job and do this full time? Is that, is that when I'm, like, a YouTuber? Or is it, like, when you start, when you get monetized, you know? Is that it? Asking the real questions. Uh, I had to start some prints tonight, and I didn't because I'm an idiot. I got to do a time lapse of a certain print to, for somebody who wants it. I don't have any tape that has elastic in it. Uh, Dayton. Frank, I may have missed it, but any plans to modify to the opening plates for like missile launchers and whatnot or the back plate cannons? Tony, are you talking on the Mark 85? Because there are no hidden weapons on that suit. Whenever you want to call yourself a YouTuber. Yeah, true. Yeah, I guess. I guess once you're monetized, right? That's probably fair. Um, the Mark 85, 
So talking to you, Tony, the Mark 85 doesn't have any hidden weapons. There are no weapons in that suit until it makes the weapons. It's nanotech. You like it? Um, so there's no hidden flaps. There's no servos. There's no nothing. He literally materializes the weapons as he needs it. I can't do that. <laughs> so let's make my crappy paint concoction. Call this my shit oil concoction. I said a, I said a bad word. I need to shake that better. Oh, I'm out of silver. Ah, oh, boo. So, the nano cannons. You mean that the lightning, re the the um. The lightning reflector that short that Thor shot his cannon into that thing, uh, the the lightning refocuser, that's what it's called. I am monetized. You guys not think I was monetized? I've been monetized. You get monetized at a thousand a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. It took me a while to hit the four thousand watch hours because you guys don't watch my videos for some reason. Which probably says more about me than you, so I can't really be that mad. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't drip that in there. Let's move this. Uh, yeah, it's all gross. Use Magnus to attach, probably. Yeah, no, I hate that thing. I'm not. I'm never making that. <laughs> I think I mean the tape that I didn't use tape for that. That's just elastic bands. I had I had to glue it into the fingers. It's just generic Amazon uh, elastic. It works great. I use it for the helmets. I use it all over the suit actually. No, I don't airbrush. Um, yeah, uh, I I would like to get into it. I haven't had a need for it yet though. So I made this like crappy, really dirty looking mixture oh actually i need silver that's what I'm... ah why did that pop up this hit my memory card that was weird just scared the crap out of me how much infill did you use on the hammer so this is a gundam marker and uh it's great for silver I'm utilizing it to Come on drip out, damn it. Woo! Oh, just ruined that marker. Cool. Just needed a little bit of silver in this. Yeah, there it is. Are any of the mods here? Um, I thought Jeet was still here. Guess not. isn't silver enough for me. I don't like it. You'll see it if he watches the live stream of that. What are you talking about? I can see it now.
Yep, I'm out of Gundam Marker Silver. Damn it. I thought I had more. I just gotta order some. How many rolls did it take to make one helmet? I can make two helmets with one roll. Because I'm special. Like, no, for real, I can, I can get two helmets out of one roll of filament. It used to take over one roll. You're not wrong. But I've evolved. So now this damage is filled with that crappy, grimy, metal-looking concoction. Do I use a Dremel? No, I use a soldering iron for the damage. Take it easy, Quinn. Dragaro, that is called bridging, and that strongly depends on how well your printer is set up. It might work, it might not work. Um, it depends on your print speed, your parts cooling, it depends on a lot of factors that... There's tests you can run, bridging tests, that let you figure that out. Um, you might want to look into those. There are free t bridge test files on Thingiverse you can grab. Um, that might be worth taking for a spin. So my shit metal concoction is pretty much done, um, but I need to mess with silver now. I need, uh, I really don't have any, do I? I got my silver sharpie. Let's see how well you work. You work too well. You dry instantly. Ooh, we gotta fix that. Oh no. Yep, can't use that. Alright, well that's a bad idea. How do you manage to get two helmets for one roll? With a lot of optimizing, I get down to 576 with a CG Trader helmet at 95, and I don't think I can get any lower than that. 5% um, gyroid infill, uh, deleting some required supports in the faceplate, tilting it very, 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 very carefully. I think on the back, I think on the dome, I'm, I have it about, I have it sitting like this, and um, it's close, Asta. It's like, I think I get like, it's like 490 grams for a helmet. It's close. Um, and then uh, um, set, on the helmet, I use uh, 75, per, 75 degree overhang angle, so it's barely anything holding the dome up. Um, the face, the jaw is the killer. The jaw is the absolute killer because it wants to put supports all in here or here. So I'll block a lot of this out and then I'll turn off my raft. Um, it's tricky, very tricky. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would not do again. But Now, I'm not saying that happens every time. Sometimes I just slice the helmet and call it a day and I get almost two helmets out of a whole roll. Um, but I can get two helmets out of a roll. I can't do that on the Thingiverse one because I have to print the jaw, little jaw separately.
But like I said in the beginning of the stream, guys, this is going to be my only one of two streams this month. Um, I'm going to throttle back on the live streams. This way I can spend the Sundays a little bit better, more productively. Spend it working on projects, spending it with the wife, spending just not prepping for the live stream every month, every weekend. Um, get back to focusing on some other things. Um, and it'll give me more time to upload better content. So, what size of the elastic bands do you use? Dane, you are overthinking this, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just went on Amazon and found elastic bands. Order them. Um, I might tell you this size and you might not have access to it, dude. You gotta just kind of order things and dive in. When did I add that there? Oh boy. Oh, no. Since I don't want to spend two thousand on a suit model, is the seventy-five dollar Thingiverse market? There's a paid. Mark 85 suit on Thingiverse? You mean CG Trader? I hope you mean CG Trader. Um, if you can't see and preview what the model looks like, like it won't, they won't show you the actual 3D file, which a lot of CG Trader files do that. They'll give you like the really nice render but they won't show you what the actual files look like. I wouldn't spend a friggin' dime on them if that's the, if that's some of the ones you're talking about. Um, because chances are that it's probably a stolen file. I wanted to ask this question for so long. How do you guys sand the repulsors? In the middle of the small gap, I can barely sand it. Uh, I didn't sand mine. I don't know. Oh, do I have my crushed brush here? Ooh, tell me I do. Tell me I do. <gasps> I do! And it's stiff as a rock. Shit. Wash your brushes, kids. Wash your brushes. Cool. I think this is gunked up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think this is Wanted to ask. Oh yeah, CG Trader. CG Trader shows each part. Um, go for it, man. I've never seen anybody print them. They could be very good, but that's that's a with no references on how parts fit or look. You're gonna be you're gonna be the test subject, you know. Um, like a lot of us can show you exactly what the Mark eighty five files look like once they're printed, how they fit, how they line up. Um, you'll be kind of blind unless he has photos of them printed as well. But there's one thing about the 3D community is modelers and makers are two very different people. So, you know, this does absolutely feel like a, a, a workshop that I do on the Discord now that I'm just rambling and sitting here talking nonsense. And answering questions. And then you guys, and then my mods and everyone from the Discord rambles on about other things and talks and completely derails the topic. Yeah, this is definitely like it. Kelly, Astaroth already beat you to that. <laughs> so close. Beat me, by, beat me by one second. I can literally sit here and just weather this helmet all night. I love doing this. I love dirtying these things up and dunking them and this is just this is just so much fun.
But it's almost 9.30. Uh, it is 9.30. So we're going to actually start wrapping this up, guys. So please get in any final questions. Um, I won't have a live stream until the 23rd. So get them out there now. And I'm not going to sign off like this. Just disembodied hands. Not going to do it. What I can do real quick. Never been to one what? The voice chats? That's good because I don't look at, let any of them talk anyway. <laughs> What's a good spray paint to make PLA look like chrome metal? No idea. I'm very often disappointed with the, um, the Rust-Oleum chrome. Um, you're not just going to find a spray paint that's going to make it look like chrome. You're going to need to do good, good prep work. You're going to need to sand everything, get it nice and smooth. Um, you're going to do a lot of wet sanding with the primer. You're going to need to do a base coat of black, gloss black, make sure that's smooth. And then you're going to need to do the, uh, do the chrome. It is not an easy process, my friend. Getting a good chrome finish is very difficult. That's why I don't even try. Chrome is very difficult. Did you 3D print your suit, Frank? Yes, I did, Matt. Yes, I did. I understand Scottish. Yeah, the, the workshops are just me working on something, and then I kind of let you guys watch too. That's really all that is. Um, there is another, sec another part of that where everybody can just live stream and chat too, which is, you know, that's totally up to you guys to set up if you want, and you guys do, which I, I, I adore. I love that you guys do your own game nights. I love that you guys do your own... Your own workshops. Uh, you, G was live. G and Astaroth, you both have live streamed. You guys working on stuff, and it warms my little heart. Please work. Yeah, these batteries are definitely dying. Oh my god. Ooh, I burped. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's probably really loud. I shouldn't burp on the live stream. I apologize. That was very disrespectful. Do I not have any normal double A's? How is that even possible? Oh well, all right. Guess so. Whatever. Yolo. Helm's kind of done. All right, let's get back to normality here. Oh hey guys, how are you? Yeah. I think you all forgot what I looked like. So that does it for this live stream. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, it was a lot of fun. it was a lot of fun just hanging out and working on this. Um, I really didn't get that much done. <laughs> yeah, it still needs work. I still need to um, finalize the uh, now. Now I need to run the wires to the dome itself, and then I'm just going to put two elastic bands here 
in here. Uh, this way, what happens is you actually pull the helmet, you pull the jaw apart and put it on. Um, because I want it to stay together a little bit better. Not unlike my actual Mark 85 helmet where it's mag magnets. Um, and I actually haven't put a helmet on this whole stream, so let's do that real fast while I say out. There we go. So that's on. It makes my head look smaller. Yep. This one came out really good. Proud of it. Woo! Haha, <laughs> as it falls and shatters. Kidding. Didn't shatter. We're okay. All right. Uh, closing comments, questions, concerns. Let's see. Do you put a clear coat? Uh, depends on what I'm doing. My battle damage helmets? No, I don't clear coat them because it messes with. Nothing's worse than when you battle. I've seen a lot of. I've seen some battle damage helmets, and uh, they'll do the weathering, they'll do the damaging, and then they'll clear coat the crap out of it. So then it's all shiny, and it's like it wouldn't be shiny. So it, it, it makes it look cartoonish. Um, it's not a good look. So the battle damage helmets? No, they stay dirty and gunked and dull because they've they've seen a thing or two, you know. So that's the uh, look I go for with them. Everything else, yes, I clear coat it. I clear coat the shit out of it. I recommend you guys do it too. Um, how did you make the dent? Hey, don't bully me. What up? Um, I made the dent by heating it up and pushing it in. So, yep. So you can see the difference. One looks... Worn. Like one looks like it's been through hell. It looks like a dull metal. Um, these are the same helmet. This one's at 100%. The damaged one's at 100% scale. The, the other one is 94% scale. So one looks dirty and one doesn't. Yeah, I like them both. They're both awesome helmets. Yeah. I'm proud of both of them. This one is going to somebody though. It's already sold. And this is the one for my suit. So, yes. Uh, join the Discord if you're not on it already. Most of you guys are on it. I appreciate that. Um, if you guys want to win a brand new Creality Ender 3 3D printer, because you want to get started and you want to jump into this hobby, this wild hobby, um, check out the, my Instagram. Um, the contest is live and running. Very easy to enter. Just look at my most recent post and follow the rules. Um, if you guys like supporting me, I'm going to plug the Patreon, even though apparently it might be going away. So we'll look into that. Um, YouTube just unlocked the option uh, of having... Um, it's like Patreon on YouTube. Originally, you needed 10,000 subscribers to have it, though. But oddly enough, it's now available to everybody with over 1,000 subscribers. It's like, it's, it's like they heard about Patreon getting shut down. So that's fun. Um, but we'll look into that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, to all my patrons, thank you for all the support. You literally made this co co giveaway contest possible with the Ender 3. I really appreciate it. Your special um, patron-only patron giveaway will, uh, it will be starting this week. Uh, I have to finalize exactly what, how I want to run it, but it is my DO3D helmet sitting back there, my uh, Mark 85 DO3D helmet. So if you're a patron or an MVP on the Discord, you get a chance to win that. So thank you for that. And... Um, the next live stream will be on the 23rd this month. Okay, we're going to skip two weekends. Um, and that's also when I will announce, uh, while I'm live streaming here on YouTube, I will go live on Instagram to announce the winner of the Ender 3. You get the Ender 3, you get a roll of P PLA filament to start out with, one kilogram roll, and $50 voucher to do3d.com to get some really nice 3D files right off the bat. And obviously you can get files from Thingiverse. There's tons of free ones, but you'll have access to some nice files right away. So uh, I'm excited about that. Share it, do whatever, follow the rules. I want a lot of people to enter this because I, I want to share the the, uh, the hobby, as you guys all know. So, um, yes. Without the workshop. 
Dent is heat gun, then push down. Yes, it is. Um, where do you get the magnets? Amazon. Um, they are purse clasp magnets. Uh, they're very effective. Yep, 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 yep. Doesn't look like there's any last questions. I appreciate it, guys. Um, the Comic Con thing was huge. Thank you so much for all of that. Uh, just wild. Um, Star Boost is almost done printing. I'm very close. Uh, I just have to print the thighs. And then um, I'll be able to start making videos about how I'm assembling it and building it and getting to wear it. Um, I just got done with the butt piece today. Um, so it's literally just the thighs left. And then I can really start having some fun with it. Star Boost, I'm not going to put as much work into Star Boost and getting clearances and covering everything up. I want to be able to move much better in Star Boost than I can in the Mark 85. So it's going to be the opposite end of the spectrum. Star Boost is going to be a fun, I don't care about gaps build. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, thanks. Um, we'll talk on the Discord. We'll talk on Instagram. I appreciate everything. And everybody, I really hope you guys have a good night. Please stay safe. Yeah. Take care. We'll talk on the Discord. We'll talk on Instagram.